It doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. So it's uh, it'll be a you know a light a, a light yeah I don't know five miles an hour. If you get run past on that, it'll be fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's a around uh, five foot eight. Um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the, the autopilot system in it. So it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, and um, yeah, uh, full self driving computer, and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about. Uh, having a useful humanoid robot is can, can it navigate through the world without being expl explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit like uh, line by line instructions. Um, can you can you talk to it and say you know please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to you know please you know please go to the store and get me. The following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think we could do that. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this I think will be quite quite profound because if you say it like, what is the economy? It is uh, at the foundation. It is labor. So, what happens when there is uh, you know no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. but, but not right now, because this robot doesn't work. Uh, so, <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I think it's, it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. And, um, yeah, I think it obviously has profound implications for the economy because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital is uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor. Uh, then, um, is there any actual limit to the economy? Uh, maybe not. Um, so, yeah, join our team and help build this. All right. So I think we'll we'll have everyone come back on the stage, and you guys can ask questions if you'd like. Yeah. any questions you have about anything on the software, hardware side, where things are going, and uh, yeah, far away. Um, we actually, because the, the lights are like interrogation lights, so we actually cannot see either of you. Great. Oh. <laughs> Alright, cool. Just, okay, there we go. Uh, first off, I mean, thanks to all the presenters. That was just super cool to see everything. Um, I'm just curious at a high level, and this is kind of a question for really anyone who wants to take it. Um, to what extent are you interested in publishing or open sourcing anything that you do for the future? Um, well, I mean, it is 
uh, fundamentally extremely expensive to create uh, the system, so uh, somehow that has to be paid for. I'm not sure how to pay for it if it's fully open sourced. Um, yeah, unless people want to work for free. But, but I should say that uh, this is if other car companies want to license it and use it in their cars, that would be cool. This is not intended to be just limited to Tesla cars. As for the Dojo supercomputer, so did you solve the compiler problem? These many nodes, or is or if, if it is solved, is it only applicable to Dojo? Because uh, um, I'm doing research in um, deep learning accelerators and getting the correct scalability uh, or the distribution even in one chip is extremely difficult from the uh, research project's perspective. So I was just curious. Excuse me, Mike or Bill? You want to? Have we solved the problem? Not yet. Are we confident we will solve the problem? Yes. We have a demonstrated networks on prototype hardware now. We have models, performance models showing the scaling. The difficulty is, as you said, how do we keep the localities? If we can do enough model parallel, enough data parallel to keep most of the things local, we just keep scaling. We have to fit the parameters in our working set in our and we flow through the pipe. There's plenty of opportunities. Sorry, as we get further scale for further processor nodes, have more local memory, memory trade-offs with bandwidth, we can do more things. But as we see it now, the applications that Tesla has, we see a clear path. And our, our modularity story means we can have different ratios, different aspects created out of it. I mean, this is something that we chose for our application.